So we're going to make um, our banana curry today. And so you see our bananas here. What we did, we steamed them. For how long, Mum? About 15 minutes? Probably oh, more than 15 20 minutes. minutes. Oh, yeah, after 20 minutes, check with two pieces. Yeah. When it's going inside, then it's ready. Yeah, yeah. so about 20 minutes, and then you can just have a check. Three bananas. So three bananas, peeled them, and we've cut them into pieces and left them for about an hour. One hour outside. To cool down. Then it's going a little hard. And they also firm up mm -hmm. that way. So we've got our pan on. And we're going to add oil now. So got one, about one and a half, so about two tablespoons oil. of oil in there. We set that heat up. It's a really, really quick and easy banana curry recipe. So you don't have to spend too much time in the kitchen. We're just going to add our cumin. Just testing the oil now to see if it's done. So if you want to test the oil, just add a few, yeah, a few cumin okay. seeds in there. Put the heat up. And then when you see them start popping up, you can add all of it and you can see that our oil is ready there. Then we're going to add some asafoetida, as always. And then our bananas. No. Oh no, our onion. <laughs> ah, so we've got the onion. So then the onion. I my mum was getting carried away there, mum. So, onion thing, and we're going to fry those onions now. So, so you can see our onions are side browning up, and then we're going to add some green chilli. So we're just adding them whole. Green chilies from our garden. Um, you can add red chilies if you want. Or this one is called high chili. This one? Green? Yeah, high chili. So these are quite spicy. More chili. Keep that stirring going. And then we're going to add our curry paste. It's coconut curry paste. Okay, so we're adding coconut in here. So about two tablespoons. Heaped tape. Yeah, two, two heaped teaspoons. So it's about a tablespoon and a half. Oops, sorry. I'm going to give that a good stir. Next we're going to add, so we're using tin tomatoes, but you can use fresh if you want. So one tablespoon, two tablespoons, so two tablespoons of tomatoes, and another stick. So we stirred that for about three to four minutes. And what we're going to add is going to add a little bit of water. So we'd finished our curry paste. So what we've done is just added some water to the curry paste jar. There's not that much in there. And how much water are you adding, Mum? Uh, four, three tablespoons. Okay, so about four, three, four big tablespoons of water. Then we'll keep let's just cook that out until you see the oil come at the side. So, but you need to keep stirring it so that it doesn't burn. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. You can see it's already starting. The oils are already starting to come out the side. Next we're going to add the banana. So, in goes our banana. So we have three bananas there.
You need to have really green bananas for this. So we bought ours raw yesterday. Banana. Yeah, raw bananas. Raw green bananas. I think they're coming into the supermarkets now. But you need to buy them when you cook with them because if you leave them even for a couple of days, they can start ripening up. Okay, so we're going to let that just yeah, cook through for a little while. Coconut milk. Okay, time to add the coconut milk. Yeah. Right, so now add coconut milk. So we've added about a third of a tin. Quarter. A quarter, yeah, a quarter, yeah. About a quarter of a tin. So that's going to be about 100 ml. So 100 ml of coconut milk. Into that. And now we're going to add some water as well. So we always use coconut milk and we try and, well, we do always use light coconut milk. Um, we never have coconut cream because it's quite fattening and it's got quite a lot of cholesterol in there. So if you can, light coconut milk is really Go good. So basically about 200 ml water. of water now. So 200 ml of water into there and a little bit peanut crushed peanut. peanuts. Yeah, and add some crushed peanuts in there now. I roast and after I crust. Okay, so these are roasted crushed peanuts. Maybe with peanut then mm. you eat yeah. Okay. Put in there. And after stir. Peanut is very nice taste inside. Mm. Yeah. Well, it is nice to have peanut butter and banana on toast butter. is really nice. So, peanut butter in here would be nice. Yeah, you get uh. peanut butter also when you've got no peanut. Then. Peanut butter. Yeah. And cow. Oh, it's, oh, it's, no, it's not the right one, Mum. So we're going to cover it now and simmer. Yeah. So we've had it on the high stove, but it's been on a low to medium heat. You can see it's already starting to simmer there though. So we're going to cover it for, so for five minutes. Okay, so we're just going to, yeah, so we're going to let it simmer away in there for five minutes and then we're going to check. Okay, so it's been about six, seven minutes. You can see it's been simmering. We've just added a small amount of salt, so at this stage you need to have a taste and if you need salt, add that. You can see it's nicely simmering along. And now we're going to add some tamarind. One tablespoon. So a tablespoon of tamarind in there. And that gives it a really nice sweet sour taste to it. So that's our tamarind and date chutney that we just added. Stirring. Mm. A little bit spinach. Oh, coriander. Spinach. Is it spinach? Yeah. Then Are you putting nice. spinach in there? Yeah, then it's nice. Okay, it's I don't know coriander, but. <laughs> that mum's got a little bit of spinach. Only one in there. Now, two leaves. Leaves in there. Mm. Just stir that through. Which that makes it look really nice. It adds a really good burst of colour. Now with the coriander. Okay, and now we've got coriander. So fresh coriander. You can freeze coriander, so if you buy it and you think you're not going to use all of it, you can clean, chop it up and put it in the freezer. Wash. Yeah. After cook dry. Mm. When it's little dry, then chop and put in the bag. Zip that. Zip lock bag, yeah. And put in the freezer and mm. you can use it when you don't have it, yeah. Yeah. Is that finished now, Yeah, finished. Ready. It's ready to serve. See that? Looks very, very yummy.